Daily Pink Slip. From incredible sapphires and meteorites to shimmering crystals of all colors and types, we're counting down the 10 largest, rarest, and most expensive gems and jewels around the world. Number 10, the Cave of Crystals. Let's start this video off with something huge, like insanely huge crystals. Deep inside a cave near the Nica mine in Mexico lies a deposit of the world's largest crystal formations. Discovered by two brothers in April of 2000, these incredible crystal pillars were formed thanks to a vacated magma chamber. Over time, heated water and sulfides combined and cooled into massive selenite crystals, more than 170 in all. Just look at the size of these things compared to those tiny people. These pictures almost look photoshopped, but they're not. The largest crystal is 39 feet long and weighs a whopping 55 tons. As for the cave itself, it's several miles underground and it sits at a balmy 136 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 58 Celsius, and 99% humidity. Whew! It's so hot inside, people can only spend about 10 minutes in there at a time, and they have to wear these weird protective suits just so they can breathe. Sadly, you can't walk in there anymore because the nearby mine that pumped the water out of the cavern shut down, and the cavern is since filled back with water. The good news, though, is with the water back, the crystals will continue to grow, and perhaps after a few more decades, someone will open up the cave again. Number 9 world's largest geode. Perhaps you've heard of the world-famous Cedar Point Amusement Park, otherwise known as the roller coaster capital of the world. But did you know that just a quick boat ride from Cedar Point is Putten Bay, Ohio, home to Crystal Cave and the world's largest geode? Back in 1887, Gustav Heinemann established a winery on South Bass Island in Lake Erie. Ten years later, he began digging a cellar beneath his winery to store his vintages when he came across a large natural cavern about 30 feet down. To his amazement, the cave was covered in Celestine crystals. After a few more years of mining, he decided the crystals were more valued to him as a tourist attraction than the space he was creating to store his wines. How big is this geode? Answer, you don't hold it in your hand, you walk into it. The entire cavern is a geode. Today, the cave and winery are still open to the public. Oh, and back on land, don't forget to ride Maverick. That's the best roller coaster in the park at Cedar Point, just saying. Number eight, world's largest amethyst. Discovered in 2007, its thousands of shimmering deep purple crystals do justice to this magnificent piece's name. The Empress of Uruguay stands nearly 10 feet tall and weighs 2.5 tons. Upon its discovery, miners took three months to extract this extravagant geode from the basalt bed it was fused to, taking extra care not to damage it. The crystals themselves were likely formed nearly 130 million years ago, back when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The Empress of Uruguay was eventually shipped from Uruguay to Australia, where it can be viewed today at the Crystal Caves Museum in Atherton. The geode is currently valued at nearly $200,000. Number 7. Pink Star Diamond on April 4, 2017, everyone's favorite auction house, Sotheby's, set a new record for the most expensive jewel or gem ever sold. Aptly named the Pink Star Diamond, this 59.6 carat oval mixed cut pink flawless diamond sold for a wallet crushing 71.2 million US. This is the largest internally flawless diamond ever graded by the Gemological Institute of America. The diamond was mined by De Beers in Africa back in 1999, where it started out as a 132.5 carat rough cut. It took two years to cut and polish this gem into the stunning piece it is today. The winning bidder was renowned jeweler Chow Tai Fook, who still owns this one-of-a-kind precious stone today. Number 6. Sunrise Ruby Our good friends at Sotheby's were at it again, this time brokering an auction which yielded the world's most expensive ruby. Known as the Sunrise Ruby, this 25.6 carat behemoth can best be described as a ruby the size of a tangerine. It's the world's most expensive non-diamond gemstone and the world's most expensive colored gemstone. It sold for a record-breaking $30.4 million back in 2015. The Swiss Gemological Institute has described it as a unique treasure of nature, praising its well-proportioned cut, highly attractive color, and fine purity. The ruby was originally mined in the Burmese jungle. So deep, in fact, that miners got lost in the wilderness for weeks. How did they eventually find their way out of the dense rainforest, you ask? We burned the forest down. Number 5. Blue Bell of Asia Renowned for its deep blue opulence, the Blue Bell of Asia is one of the world's most expensive and rarest sapphires. Selling at a Swiss auction for an impressive 17.6 million US back in 2014, this brilliant sapphire is set as the centerpiece of a lavish diamond necklace complete with a brilliant cut diamond tassel and pendant. The final sale price was nearly double what it was expected to go for. Discovered in the paddy fields of Ceylon, Sri Lanka in 1926, it was meticulously cut and polished before being sold to the renowned gem and jewelry dealer Macan & Marker Company in 1937. Weighing in at a staggering 392.5 carats, this sapphire can best be described as... A ruby the size of a tangerine. Number 4. Dom Pedro Aquamarine. One beautiful shade of blue deserves another. 
This time it's the world's largest cut of aquamarine, and it's a real beaut. With its estimated value in the millions, the Dom Pedro aquamarine was mined from Brazilian pegmatite in the late 1980s. It was named after Brazil's two first emperors, Dom Pedro I and his son. The sheer quality of the original cut combined with its distinguished bluish-green hue make this one of the most dazzling aquamarines known to mankind. Upon extraction, the original uncut crystal was two feet long, weighing in at nearly 60 pounds. World-renowned gem artist Bernd Munsteiner cut and polished the rough-cut crystal into the obelisk it is today, currently 14 inches tall and weighing about 4.6 pounds. Here's the best part. It's not hiding in some rich guy's collection. You can visit the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. anytime you want, where it's proudly on display alongside the Hope Diamond and Marie Antoinette's earrings. No admission fee either. All Smithsonian museums are free. Number 3 world's largest pearl. Okay, this is just sheer insanity. Back in the mid-2000s off the island of Palawan in the Philippines, a fisherman stumbled across a massive clam with an even more amazing surprise inside. Weighing in at a back-breaking 75 pounds, the Porto Princesa Pearl measures one foot wide by two and a half feet long. It knocks the socks off the previous record for the world's largest pearl, the Pearl of Allah, which was only, yes only, 15 pounds heavy and having an assessed value of 35 million. Ironically, that pearl was also found off Palawan in the Philippines. The Puerto Princesa Pearl is estimated to be worth nearly $100 million. Making it even more rare, pearls generally come from oysters, not clams. What are the odds? As of now, the pearl is on display as a tourist attraction, with the owner having no plans to sell it anytime soon. So, what's the moral of the story? If you want to harvest the most amazing pearls in the world, better start learning how to speak Tagalog. Number 2 most expensive meteorite. With all the diamonds, rubies, sapphires, and pearls floating around, it's easy to forget about the most precious stones that fall from the sky. Check this out. It's called the Brenham Meteorite Main Mass, and it's estimated to be worth between $750,000 and $1.2 million. Now this is no ordinary meteorite. It's a palisitic meteorite, which means it consists of centimeter-sized olivine crystals of peridot quality in an iron-nickel matrix. In other words, it's rare and really cool. It's considered to be the largest known oriented meteorite in the world, meaning instead of rotating through the atmosphere, it dropped in one position as it fell through the sky, giving it its unique parabolic shape. Discovered by Steve Arnold, the 1,433 pound behemoth was found in 2005 just outside Greensburg, Kansas at the Halavan Crater. It is currently housed inside a private collection somewhere in Texas with no plans to be sold or put on display anytime soon. Number one, Blue Star Sapphire. Here it is, folks, the world's largest and most valuable blue star sapphire. Now to me, it doesn't have the brilliance of the blue bell, but this unique stone has been almost universally accepted as the world's most precious sapphire. Coming in somewhere between 100 million and 300 million dollars, it weighs an astounding 1,404 carats, or roughly 9.9 .9 ounces. In normal light, blue star sapphires appear opaque. However, when placed in front of a light source, a six-point star emerges. The blue star sapphire was discovered in August of 2015 in Sri Lanka. Nicknamed the Star of Adam, geologists speculate this thing was formed within the granite rocks of Sri Lanka's highlands over the course of millions of years. While most speculate the stone would fetch about 175 million in auction, the owner has stated he's willing to sell for 300 million. So if you want this thing bad enough, it can be yours. My advice? Better get going on that lemonade stand. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We put up brand new videos every week, so hit that subscribe button and you won't miss a single one. And remember, if you watched this video at work and you still have a job, then you just dodged the Daily Pink Slip.